Yeah, this is a wicked setup, man. And you got your uh, teddy bear right here. This is a 2005 Suzuki. I've never seen this setup. That is uh, completely unique. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nobody's ever seen it. Well, let me show you a couple of features. I've got extra long uh, forward pegs to support the, uh, the, uh, the luggage, you know, on this skid plate. They're attached to the skid plate. Then I take a C-clamp. And I attach the luggage to the crash bar. Then to protect the luggage, I put um, conduits around it. Man, this uh, this bike, <laughs> it's seen some uh, yeah, it's some good nice. times, man. Yeah. No, What's I, happening here? Oh, I, I just, I, you know what happened? Is, I'll show you what happened. This is what happened right here. I was driving uh, at night. In a misty rain, about two o'clock in the morning, near Atlantic City, and I was paying too much attention to the front and not behind me. See the LEDs? Holy cow! Yeah, because nobody could see this. Nobody could see this. So you can imagine, two o'clock the night. So a guy saw me. He caught my luggage. I went down. I went unconscious. Oh, well, here's another thing. I hear. I hear. I. Uh, I wear a seatbelt. So I went through it all, you know, all the gear all the time. I just didn't like all that leather. I didn't like the chaps, you know, it's just like I was too much trouble and I wasn't doing it. Now, so, now the only thing I, I wear really, so I, have a, I, have a, I have a coat with some pads, you know, but that's only because when I went over that night, I went unconscious and, but I was seat belted in and I hit my shoulder, but I only sprained my shoulder. Okay. So. But that's before I put the uh, conduit on, so I don't know whether I can reach the ground now. It looks like the wheel hits um, the luggage a little bit uh, when you're turning. Nah. Does it bother you? No, nah, because I don't carve corners. You know, it's, I'm not going to be turning it that hard. I'll tell you one thing it did. You see this? <laughs> you know, those are the world's biggest sliders. So I, it was chewing up the luggage. So what I did was I just put a little metal there. Um, I'm a tourist, you know, I'm not like, I'm not looking to, uh, to be the fastest. Or... I'm very fair skinned. So like, uh, what this enables me to do is, well, I ride all winter and I, and I, I barely wear gloves in the winter in New York because this protects, you know, you know, if you're going a long distance, this is good too. Let me show you a couple things. Do you see this? That's a cable tie. That is a one penny hack if you want a throttle uh, stop. In other words, you cinch that up there and there's enough friction that when you let go, so your hand doesn't, you don't always have to have your hand on the throttle this way, it relieves your hand. Just a, a little zip tie. Just, yeah, just a zip tie, right. The cable tie. Sorry. You put it in there, it's enough friction so that you can just let go and whatever RPM you're at. It'll That's stay. a good idea. Yeah. The only GPS I had was like a car GPS, you know, cheap, I'm not going to spend $300 for a GPS. So, uh, I ruined another one, you know, just a little moisture, you know, I thought I could, you know, I thought I could be careful, but I just ruined another one. So I, I, I've gone to the phones now, and matter of fact, my phone, I broke my phone on the road. This is like, this is great, it's an LG, it cost me $32 with tax at, at Best Buy. I'm going to get another one because, you know, you can take the maps offline through the internet. The trouble is I broke the zipper, but I'm thinking, not that I need it, because I got way too much stuff in here. Oh, by the way, everything in here I don't need, 100%. That's so garbage. why carry it? I didn't, for instance, I left you, I left my, uh, my sleeping bag. I bought that along on the road. I have another sleeping bag in here. It was just like too cumbersome. And then I got one, two, three, maybe four tarps in here. I don't need all of them. But I, I started with one and I didn't like it, so I got I, one rip, so I, I got another one. And I, there's a lot of stuff that can be paired. Uh, this, is, this has got, this is just turned into extra storage. I, I just keep my, I was going to keep my electronics, my laptop and stuff like that in there. But it's too much trouble to get into and, you know, I'm not worried about it. And what's happening here with your, uh, your oh, buttons you know, that are it missing? Just, it was just too much trouble. I should throw a piece of tape over that. What I do is... Man, it sounds like mine. Yeah. Mine is also 2005. Right. So that's 68 miles since my last oil of the chain. Okay. So, in other words, when I get up, well, how often? 250, 300 miles? Yeah, when you, uh, yeah, lube so, the chain. Yeah. 
So that's so that I just keep track of that. that's the only thing I keep track of really. So I don't want any trouble that way. And uh, well, anyway, I had trouble with those those pushing buttons. So I, so yeah. I just took them off Santa Fe to get brake pads. For I found the mechanic, but he didn't have the right brake pad. So I went to a dealership to get the brake pad. When I came back out, there was a crowd around my bike, and the guy said, "Oh, I saw this the other night. You know, somebody else had posted it somewhere, and you know, it's like it." It, it precedes me. I, I, I was in Ashland, Kentucky, and the guy recognized me. You know, I just happened to be pulled over. I was in Wisconsin, and, and, and you know, uh, the guy uh, recognized me from another post, from the, uh, from the Little Rock guy who had posted it. Burn the clutch out, but that's, that's my bad clutch work. See, because, like, what I've learned the hard way is that a clutch, you got either, it's, it's it's zero or one. You're either all the way in or all the way out. I, I sometimes I would use my clutch. I would modulate my speed, like on to slow down, you know, like on a mountain or something like that, by letting the clutch out slowly. But you can't do that. You got to let it out, you know, 100%. Oh. And then you modulate with the throttle. Otherwise, in other words, the clutch should be in or out, nothing in between, or else you're gonna you, you you're gonna wear it down. And that's what I did. So Eddie, we got the same bike, same color, same everything, yeah. same year. Yeah, it looks a little I'm different missing, though. Missing you got like something to protect your uh, radiator. Yeah, that's. I think that's from ADV Adventures. There's a place he moved to. Happy Trail. No, 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 no. Specialty um, DL650 um, parts. Me. Like I got these extenders from him. And I won't even go. I won't even go higher with my mirrors. I like my mirrors as high as possible. I'd like to have a panger mirror. Man, that's. So he got the, this extender, and of course I, I got to get another one of these because I, I should have gotten two of them. Because the, to me, the, the higher the better. You know, I want to look around all the time. At what's going on? Man, sounds better than my bike. Really? Yeah. Well, you got ten thousand. Look at that. He's got like the LED lights right here. The, oh, yeah. The bike sounds pretty good. Yeah, all I did was, this thing got mucked up in the accident, so I took, I took the wheel off of this to play. You have like a gas can. You have like your tuna. And I usually eat tuna too on the road. It's like so cheap, right? One dollar. Man. A dollar tree. Yeah, I like that. Because like in here, I have more stuff. Like this is for, um, <laughs> for coffee and and oh, hold on. Right now, and more coffee. Like this is already hot because I was at McDonald's, so I took a little extra with me. But um, in the Oh, here's some more I got from McDonald's. So that's good for a day. <laughs> Man, you got it. All. You'll never miss out on coffee. I'm, I'm into my sixth week now. So sixth I'm finishing, week. I'll be finishing up this week. So you did most of the south of uh, the United States, Tennessee. I, I, I didn't even touch the south. I mean, I mean, yeah, it was the south, but I was I only hit eastern Tennessee, northern Alabama, a little bit of northern Georgia. Middle South Carolina and Western North Carolina. That's what, you know, it's like, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot <laughs> going on in there. And now you're on your way to New York and yeah. Uh, yeah, back you're going to like my rest. Wife, my wife is getting, dropping some heavy hints, so I got to make her happy, you know. <laughs> yeah, Bob from New York. Right.